The tariffs took place June 1st, and uh, we're looking at a $200,000 a month tariff bill that we're having to pay on what we're bringing in from, from Europe. All of, our, all of our imports come from Europe. It, it really hampers us that, uh, that true corporate partners or true, true people that have been partners with the U.S. for years, now we can't import. Our main supplier here in the States is, I would say somewhere about 150,000 pounds past due to us for materials. I, I can't blame them for it. I mean, now they've got everybody here in the States trying to draw material from them, not just from automotive, but for consumer goods, for hygienic goods. So they're having to apply or ration out there still for all of these applications because everybody's trying to avoid the tariffs. It's leading to us having to expedite the customers. It's leading to us getting materials in here late. If our costs go up, we, we lose our advantage. And yeah, the competition comes out of Mexico. And uh, up until the tariffs came about, we were able to compete with Mexico, even though they have the lower labor rates and incentives that the Mexican government offers. But we were able to compete and compete well. The uh, issue is now that we're paying tariffs on the steel, our part cost goes up. But in Mexico, they import steel with no tariffs. They can build the parts, and now that it's not just a raw material, it's an actual value-added part, it can come across the border without the tariffs applied to it. So it truly puts us at a disadvantage in that manner. I've got no concerns with NAFTA. We can compete with just the NAFTA rules, but we can't compete with the tariffs added onto it.